Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we are a bit behind, we apologize. We're trying to uh, basically accommodate everyone <laughs> and it's just been crazy. Everyone's trying to get in their readings because of everything that's going on. Uh, for those of you guys trying to get consultations, now is the time to reach out as we are now booking for the month of June and July. Um, so just putting it out there. Okay, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance for the remaining of May going into June. So let's see what spirit has for you Aquarians out there in regards to love and romance. All right, Aquarius, your first card is wisdom. Second card is taking risks and forgiveness. Partner or person of your interest is leadership, stillness, and getaway. Okay. So for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, um, I see you guys very, like, really being very receptive to your partner, to what they want, to their needs. I think that uh, it's even gotten you out of your comfort zone for some of you guys. Um, doing things that perhaps don't come natural to you, perhaps even going out of your way to try to make a romantic dinner, being more present is what they're saying, being more open, um, really caring or putting your part in making sure that romance is flowing and that it, the spark is still there. Um, taking risk could represent, like I said, getting out of your comfort zone. I know that for some Aquarians, it doesn't come natural um, to be very romantic or, you know, lovey-dovey, touchy, um, depending on, depending on how much of the element of air you have in your chart. But what they are saying here with taking risk is that for some of you guys, uh, you've overcome certain obstacles in your relationship. And it's very important at this present time to embody forgiveness. So for some of you guys, it could have been uh, dealing with perhaps situations where you guys were perhaps very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, being extremely like methodical in the way you guys were communicating. It kind of counting, counting down um, the wrongdoings of your partner and your partner doing the same thing. Uh, kind of like, okay, you forgot my birthday. I'm going to remember that. And and then the next time you forget something, your partner's like, okay, I rem I'm going to remember that. So it was like counting, um, counting down basically uh, the mishaps or whatever you felt that your partner was doing. It became almost like a, co a competition between you two. And I think that right now at this present time, it's very important to let go of that because there may be some resentments on your part or on your partner's side as well. Uh, so I guess um, what Spirit is saying here with forgiveness, it's very important to let go of that. When it comes to partnerships and relationships, it's not what they do for us, like counting what they're doing for us, or even you, Aquarius, doing for your partner and expecting them to like remember, oh, I did this, I did this, I did that for you, and you can't do this for me. It's not a countdown. It's not competition. If you do something, do it without the expectancy of anything in return. That's how you know that it's coming out of your heart to do so, not because you're expecting anything in return or even forgiveness when you um, let your partner down or when you do things that, you know, upset your partner. So what they're telling you here is you got to let go of any uh, resentment that you may be feeling towards your partner. It's very important to keep communication open. Wisdom is a representation of knowledge. Is it? It's a representation of just like you're so good at giving advice to your friends, you got to take those advices as well and integrate them when it comes to your partnerships, Aquarius. Now, the cards representing your partner here is leadership, stillness, and getaway. So I see them a bit frustrated, uh, feeling a bit reclusive, perhaps even like the relationship has kind of lost its you know, his passion or the spark of interest uh, with leadership. It could be that your partner is currently feeling like they're the ones carrying the relationship or like they're the ones that have to fix the relationship every time something comes up where 
someone is offended in the situation and they've gotten to the point of feeling like, okay, you know what? At this point, I'm not even going to react to it or I'm not even like they're basically stepping back and having not the need to try to rush and glue everything together because they're expecting for you to step up Aquarius. Now, this could be vice versa. It is a general reading, but I do see them very, like I said, uh, contemplating and really being in their head about uh, maybe even feeling a little bit like they've been taken for granted. So just the side note, Aquarius, make sure to remind your partner how much they mean to you, even if you guys are upset or you had an argument or something like that, you have to be okay with agreeing to disagree. Now, the getaway could represent having the need or maybe even thinking of either gave, giving each other some space, uh, perhaps it could even represent giving each other some room uh, to get away, to actually have time for yourselves, to actually put some effort in keeping the romance alive. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, uh, what they're telling you here is use the wisdom and the knowledge, the experience you have gone through in past relationships. You have to understand, Aquarius, that sometimes it's necessary for us to take risks, even if it means getting out of our comfort zone. Um, and forgiveness is very important, whether it's caring from past traumatic events, from past relationships, what you feel like they've done to you in the past. If you're sitting there waiting for an ex to reach out and to apologize or to have some type of remorse or regret about what they did to you in the past, what Spirit is telling you is you got to forgive them. Forgive them not for yourself. Sorry, forgive them not for them, but for yourselves, for your peace of mind. You have to keep in mind that the more you hold on to that, they still have power or control over you. The moment you release that and you no longer care what's going on in their life or you don't care if they regret it or not, you're taking your power back, Aquarius. And also, you're not tainting your future or the relationship that may come in the in the near future for you. Now, the person that's coming towards you, Aquarius, is a person that is very methodical. Um, perhaps they are proficient at something. They could be uh, in, in their career. It could be some type of like uh, management, some type of leader where other people see them as a leader. And there is stillness here of representing at this present time. I see them very at peace. I don't see them rushing or looking for any type of like commitment. I think that this uh, connection may come about for you guys somewhere between, um, I want to say the second to third week of June, uh, where this person comes in. And it could be while traveling. Um, and I know that right now with the COVID-19, not a lot of people are traveling. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean like travel far, um, it just represents uh, you can meet them while you're away from your home. You can meet them uh, on a road trip or somewhere in distance from where you usually uh, stay or live in. OK, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we will see each other soon. Bye.